Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Um, in this one I'm going to demonstrate how you can create some cool looking morphing effects. Um, I'm using Realflow 5 and to render and create some basic meshes I'm using Maya 2012. Um, so I was playing around with uh, Realflow and uh, I thought I'd record uh, just a couple of videos um, to show you that you can um, very easy create some cool looking effects like, like this one right here. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, let me stop that and close that animation window. Mm, in Maya here, we uh, always create a new uh, project. So go to project window and say new. And let's call this morphing tutorial. And then say accept. Uh, in here, uh, we are going to create some text meshes. So go to create and um, go here to text uh, let's click on the options. So I thought I, I'm not using the same uh, words as I used for the uh, intro video. Um, so that was morphing particles. So let's uh, go with a little bit more simple, um, like quick and silver. So quick, oops, quick. Um, so my font type is set to Arial here. Um, it's a font that uh, everybody should have. And let's um, uh, set it here to bevel at start at end. And uh, I set it here uh, to 0 0.1, 0 0.1 and 1.5. The create cap at start and at end. And um, uh, I use the, here the straight out. Um, so that's, that's it. So click on apply. And there you go. So we got the word uh, or the mesh quick here. And let's create uh, the word silver, type that in and say create. So we get two um, meshes here. So let me hit six on the keyboard. And um, it doesn't matter that they are on the same spot here. That's, um, and that's helpful later on in uh, Realflow. Um, so let me turn on wireframe and shade it. Mm. And now we have to export those meshes. Uh, Realflow can only handle a triangulated meshes. So before we export those as an OBJ, um, we have to triangulate those. So select the word quick or the mesh quick. And then make sure you're in the polygons menu here, go to mesh and say triangulate. So click on that, okay. And then uh, we are selecting the word silver and uh, to repeat the triangulation, just hit G on the keyboard. Okay, so we get two triangulated meshes here. Um, and now I want to export those. So uh, make sure that uh, you have turned on OBJ export. Um, if you don't, uh, go here to Window, Settings, Preferences, the Plugin Manager. And down here you'll find somewhere the uh, OBJ export.mll. Um, so in my case it's loaded and set to auto load. So if yours is turned off, just turn it on. And then with that object selected, go to File, go to Export Selection. Make sure you, it's set to OBJ. And yeah, we put it here to the Scenes uh, folder of our project. And let's call it Quick. And then we're selecting uh, that Silver Mesh and say File, Export Selection, and type in Silver. Hit Enter. Um, let me save that scene, go to File, Save Scene As, um, call it Start01. And yeah, from here on we can go into Realflow. So let me open it up. Okay, so here in Realflow, um, yeah, let's uh, create a new project. So let's call this uh, Morphing Tutorial. Um, hit enter. And in here, um, if you haven't used Realflow before, um, yeah, a lot of stuff explains itself. Um, to navigate around, it's uh, the same as in Maya, or almost the same. So press Alt and then, you know, left click, right click, zoom in and zoom out, and middle mouse to pan. So that's uh, exactly the same that you um, have in Maya. Um, so in here, um, I won't go through all the you know different tools and, and, and settings here. Um, there's no need uh, to to follow the, for this tutorial. Um, so let's just go to import, import object, 
And then we have to head to that uh, project folder that we just created in Maya. So that's where we saved out the OBJs. So search for your folder. In my case, it should be somewhere here. Uh, under the scenes folder, import the word or the OBJ quick. Okay, let's uh, tumble around here. And then let's import the object silver. Okay. So what we're going to do here is um, we want to fill the mesh quick with uh, particles, and then later on we want to, you know, simulate those particles so that they um, somehow move and then uh, get to the shape of our silver uh, mesh here. Um, okay, so first of all, I don't need those meshes in my viewport, so I don't want to want to see them there, and I don't want to have those meshes uh, as collision objects. So let's select both um, both objects here. So go to the nodes here and select uh, shift select both uh, OBJs, and then go here right on the right hand side um, under the node parameters, um, which is uh, com comparable to, to the attribute editor editor and channel box in Maya. <coughs> so click here on display and say we uh, turn visibility off here. So they are still there but we won't see them anymore. And then um, at the same time we can go up here to node and uh, turn off the simulation. So uh, now it's set to active so we want to set this to inactive um, to avoid that our particles later on collide with those uh, meshes. So set it to inactive. Okay, so it looks like we have an empty scene here, um, but uh, we still have those objects there, but we can see them, and they are not uh, active in case of simulation. So now let's uh, go here um, to this little icon. Um, if you click on that, um, you can see, okay, those are the different emitter types um, that uh, RealFlow has. So in this case, we are using the fill object emitter. So click on that. And again, nothing seems to happen. Um, so because we have to specify, okay, what object do we want to fill? So here, here are under fill object, just go to object and click on that and then select the word quick, say okay. And again, nothing happened because we have to say under fill volume, set it to yes. Um, don't get nervous if you click on that once and uh, nothing happens immediately. So it takes a couple of seconds. So I click there right now once and wait a second and there you go so we have uh, our object filled up with particles um, I don't think we need that many particles uh, for previous here so as you can see here we got uh, 61k uh, particles which is yeah quite a lot and um, we could dial that down so <coughs> Like I said before, uh, those settings here, most of those uh, settings are explaining themselves. So to reduce the number of particles, we have to go here to resolution. Uh, so now it's set to 1. So we could uh, dial it down to, let's try something like 0.2. And um, yeah, again, nothing happened here. So now we have to click on reset down here. So click on reset. Yeah, I'm sure. And there you go. So we have uh, 12,000 particles left. And that uh, yeah, shouldn't work out for our previous here. So later on, if uh, that's not enough detail, we can raise uh, our resolution again. Okay, another another thing I don't like here is that, uh, you know, our particles are mm, in a order that they, you know, create those patterns. Um, let's uh, try to uh, change this. Um, there was still our, the emitter here selected, the fill object. On the right hand side you find the under the fill object the jittering. So let's um, type in something like one. Uh, wait a second and yeah there you go we have some random um, particles uh, and we don't have that straight pattern anymore. Okay so from here on um, I'd like to uh, start simulating those particles. <coughs> so if you only want to um, have those particles move uh, fr from this position to the uh, pos position of the word silver, um, it's pretty simple. Um, let's 
go here under the demons uh, tab here. Um, that's you know you get a bunch of different demons. Uh, I won't go through all the uh, demons here. So in this case we um, let's try. It's only only a test here to show you what's going on. Let's uh, use the magic demon. Click on that, and uh, with the magic demon here selected on the right hand side, we have to say okay what object. Uh, should our uh, our particles uh, should go so click on on object click on silver say okay um yeah let's just um leave it at, at the default settings here um and let's just uh, hit simulate so we'll take some so if i select that we'll take some seconds here to run through and you see our particles are moving okay so let me pause the video and I'll be back when uh, the simulation is run through. Okay, so here after 200 frames, um, if I play that, it's looking weird because all those particles are moving but they are not taking the shape of the world silver. And that's uh, there's a reason for that. So um, the reason for that is uh, under our magic demon here, uh, it's, uh, the magic mode is set to random phase. Um, and it's also set to random within phase. So let's uh, reset this here. And then let's uh, just um, let's ch change here one, one thing. Let's uh, turn it to nearest phase. And then again, let's uh, click on simulate and see what happens. And as you can uh, see here, the simulation takes uh, way longer. So every frame uh, Take, takes more time to calculate. So I'll be back when this is run through 200 frames. Yeah, so this is what came out of that. So let me hit play. And as you can see, okay, those particles are moving uh, to the shape of the word silver, even if it takes, uh, you know, some time and uh, it's not looking very pretty, but it's, it's looking way better than before. Okay, so <coughs> yeah, if you um, change um, some of those settings here under the uh, magic demon, uh, like the approach and the escape strength, um, we could uh, tweak that, um, yeah, that movement of those particles. So in real flow, like I said uh, before, I guess um, it's always good to play around with all those settings so that you can figure out okay what exactly is happening when I change uh, um, you know uh, the approach strength or the escape strength um, and um, another option uh, that would help to um, you know put get those particles to the shape of of uh, the word silver um, is th to turn uh, this random within phase to no <coughs> So I won't, um, sh you know, run through all this process. So, but I recommend uh, you to, uh, yeah, play around with all those settings, right? Um, okay, let me let me reset um, this um, simulation here. So, click on reset, and um, let me um, delete the magic demon here under the global links. So before um, those particles um, take the shape of the word silver I'd like to um, you know uh, have some different movement with all those par particles uh, so let me um, select that magic demon here under the global links and hit delete on the keyboard so once we uh, click on similar right now uh, again nothing uh, much happens anymore and we still have that magic demon here under our nodes, but it's not under the global links, which means um, it's not active, I would say. So let's re reset this. And um, yeah, since I'm running out of my 15 minutes limit here on YouTube, um, I think I'm going to pause this video and I'll be back uh, to uh, go on with that process. So see you in the next video.